Hello and welcome to another The Reasons I'm Broke unboxing. I'm Daniel. And I'm Kelly. We've got a huge one this time. The most perfect of the DC collectibles, <laughs> as you've heard on the podcast, for any brokeheads that do tune into that. Let's jump right in to the Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series. Daniel has been looking forward to this forever, and with great reason, too. This is an absolutely beautiful piece to add to your collection. As you saw, it is as long as a long box, almost. Just the outer packaging. And here's where they have it very well protected with this kind of plastic that has the fastens on there. And they even have a sheet of uh, regular plastic to protect it even from that. Very difficult for us to unbox. <laughs> uh, took a little bit of while, but it's this is great because it was so well protected, like you said. It's got these little fasteners on the side, too, so it all fits in there very, very well. Nothing's going to happen to your Batmobile. Nothing at all. As you can see, it is a clean, very matte finish, just like in the show in the cartoon. But certain parts of it are a little bit different than what you'd see on the exterior. So it's not as simple as it looks. Here's the front of it. The grill, very iconic mm -hmm. in the show. And when they actually created the Batmobile and they designed it, they took uh, two existing ones that they had planned and they kind of put them together. The top does open too. A great feature with this. If you've purchased your Batman the Animated Series action figures, they do actually sit right in there inside the cockpit. Yes, they made it so that you can actually play with this because this is a toy. Like you can call it a collectible. It's a, it, it is a toy. And here on the interiors, exactly as one of the episodes that comes to mind is the Christmas one mm -hmm. where Robin and Batman are both inside the Batmobile and you see the console. These seatbelts actually come off. <laughs> they do. They actually work because we all saw Batman put on seatbelts in the animated <laughs> series. But you do want to keep your action figures safe and we do want to teach kids, wear your seatbelts, yo. <laughs> The opening of Batman the Animated Series, you saw the back of this thing mm -hmm. light up as Batman went off to fight criminals, fight crime. <laughs> Shot fire because I made it go faster. <laughs> which I think came straight out of the Tim Burton uh, movie, which I think inspired a lot of this stuff, especially the soundtrack and all that. For comparison, there it is lit up. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You can just imagine the fire shooting out of it. Right yes, now. all the lights, all the right places, and even the interiors, you get a little peek of it there, but here is a close-up. The console, the, the little computer in the, in, in the middle there where they would see the Alfred and the Joker and all the other villains and characters, that lights up too. And if you guys do compare this picture to the previous one we had of the inside, the steering wheel actually moves forward and back, so you can actually pull it into Batman's hands. In its completion, Batman the Animated Series, one seasons one through three, Batmobile. There it is. It's a hundred dollars measures 24 inches long and it again fits your batman the animated series action figurines as long as it's not like man bat or something <laughs> um, absolutely beautiful totally totally worth the price D definitely recommend it something we were looking forward to and will be an iconic display for us for a very long time thank you for joining us on another unboxing you can check out the podcast that we put up regularly right here on youtube where we talk about comics movies tv video games and more every single week in the meantime i'm daniel and i'm kelly we'll see you on the next one.